Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it the Nuggery Game! Epidex Audition! Exactly. I've planted four bombs. They're the ones numbered one, two, and three. But there's also one more. Bomb number zero. I felt a cold shiver run down my spine. Suddenly, I remembered it too. I heard Dio, 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 Dio. I heard Dio say those very words in the floor B warehouse. No, no, no way. Looks like you remember it too. Yeah. How much time do we have? Shit, we've only got four minutes. Well, hurry up. We need to get to the zero bomb. Right. I yanked the input device into the bomb and turned the chase after. What are you doing standing there for? Go show me where the bomb is. What? Are you telling me you don't know where it is? You have got to be kidding me. How the hell would I know where the bomb is? Oh, oh shit. You don't know? She bit her lip and nodded. Damn it. What the hell are we supposed to do now? You can't deactivate the bomb if you don't know where the damn thing is. Calm down. Just, you need to think, Sigma. There has to be a clue somewhere. Pretend you're Dio. You need to hide the bomb. Where would you hide something important? Hide something important. Right. Hide. Hide. If I was Dio, where would I hide? <gasps> Isn't it in the lab? It needs to be continued. I know where it is, don't I? Where's the number zero ball? Don't I know where the number zero ball is? Maybe I don't. Maybe we have to do this. Alright. To where the line it is. So they should be GTF DML. Zero, one, six, and a pass of jumpy doll. What? Excuse me? M I L L K E V O L I jumpy doll. Maybe they're both the lion ones? Maybe Jumpy Doll's not part of this? See, the mouse gets faster. D, M, L, 0, 1, 6, I, L, K, E, D, e, O, L, I. There we go. Okay, so it was two lion passwords. Found about 225,000 pieces. This is the only leather oh, the largest exhibit of on the shipwreck. Fi, come, come over here. What's wrong? I, I got in. What? How did you figure out the login? I, I don't know. I just, I just knew it. What the hell do you mean you just knew it? I just knew it means I just knew it. You gave me the same line when I asked you how you knew my name. Why are you bringing that up? It doesn't have anything to do with this. You sure? It might. What? I don't... Uh, look. Just forget about that. Come take a look sure. at this. Sure. Fine. Just let me get right on that. Are you out of your damn mind? Tell me what the hell is going on here. Why do you know how to log into this computer? Are you even listening to me? He continued to yell at one another for several more minutes, but no matter what Fi asked me, I could never come up with an answer that satisfied her. Eventually, she seemed to give up. Fine. You still don't make any sense, but I don't think you're lying. Damn right I'm not. And the AB game deadline isn't getting any further away. Alright. Let's see what this thing has for us. Where are we supposed to start? One sec. Director's office. Security. And then, okay, so the third white door is down here. Okay, I just didn't know if we went through all three white doors or not. 
Looks like there's tons of stuff in here. Oh, can you tell me the ID that you put in? I can try searching for that. Maybe we'll get a hit. I gave her what she asked for. GTF DML 016. My search returned several files, and after examining them for a moment, I opened one. Golem unit details. Are these product specifications for a golem? Looks like it. Did we have golems in this timeline? Golem bay. Yeah, we did. Cool. So was GTF DML 016 a golem's ID? Don't ask me. You seem to know more. Fine, whatever. Just read the file. Maybe it'll make more sense. Let's see here. Luna. Yeah. Why is there a picture of Luna in this file? There's something written underneath it. It says, Appearance after application of ABT. 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 It is this special artificial biological tissue, what's called ABT. When a golem's all new and shiny, they've got a nice suit of ABT over that metal skeleton. Makes it look right human, it does. Even feels like real skin with pores, a little bit of hair, and a few pimples, scars, and the like. <laughs> Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the fake, even if it was right in front of you. See, right in the middle. I see, Luna was a golem, and DML016 was her product ID. That must have been what Gollum was trying to tell us when he was stopped. Mm. But why? Why would Luna be in the game? Mm. I don't know how autonomous she really is, but I find it hard to believe she would have come here of her own free will. So you're saying she was sent here by Zero Senior? Probably. Look. At the bottom of the screen, it shows her current status. Currently operational. Executing special mission? You think her special mission is to participate in the game? Probably. So why did Zero Senior want a robot as participant? You think maybe it was to supervise the rest of us? Maybe if something unexpected happens, she was supposed to correct it or something? What if it was some kind of Voight Kampf test? A what? It's from an old book. A test to see how human she was. Whether or not eight people would be able to figure out she was a robot. I know this one. It's from Durandroid's Dream of Electric Sheep. That might almost explain the whole game, actually. Making us solve puzzles and play the AB game. All of those things could have been designed to give us a chance to see her true nature. So it's kind of like the Chinese room. Yeah. Luna is the girl locked in the room, and the eight of us are the people outside it. Mm. Well, like I always say... It's just a possibility, right? All what matters is if the person next to you does what a human ought. Looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person, then it's probably a person. When did you figure it out? That she was a golem and... Right now. I didn't know until I saw this stuff. You're lying. When I told you about what happened with Gollum in the pantry, you said something about how this game might be some sort of Chinese room. I don't know why I said that. It just felt like it made sense. Like you just knew it. Yeah. Look, forget about that. See Luna's status? Yeah, it says the same thing it did a minute ago. Currently operational, executing special mission. Whoa, wait, what the hell? Luna's dead. You think robots die? She was only injected with muscle relaxant. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Of course, Luna's the one who opened the UVD. That might not be the only thing she did. Look. What do you mean? What are the last three digits of her product ID? 016. And where have we seen that before? No. No, I don't believe it. Are you saying it was Luna who handcuffed Clover and Tenyoji? We should go check her body. You remember where it is? The crew quarters. Of course I remember. This is this a timeline where, like, literally everybody for us is dead? You're right. Yeah. Why? Why would you? And I... I trust him. Five minutes. Let's go. The game hasn't stopped. If we don't vote, we're going to get penalized. Right. Call from the 
I don't remember who, anything about this timeline. I don't remember who our partner was. Maybe it's Luna. I don't remember if anybody else alive. I don't think so. Tio and Kay killed each other. Can I check the timeline? Does it give me summaries of this stuff? Please retry with valid partner. Oh yeah, forget about this thing. Right. Luna's bracelet. Yeah, with her bracelet, there's three in this room. Okay, so we are paired with Luna. I'm just gonna quickly take a look here. So we did the lounge. We vote ally, we go into the golem bay with Alice and Luna. Get out, the ally. We go through security, it doesn't cost anything about what happened. <laughs> Set one of those braces down, headed back in the aviary. Two minutes remain until polling closes. Alright, I'll go ahead and hit the start button. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. Wait, Sigma! Huh? Luna. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell is going on? Why is Luna here? She's probably planning on participating in the game. You mean she's gonna take the bracelet and go into one of the other rooms? Yeah. How's she gonna vote? Betray. I'm sure of it. Why else would she have come here? If she wanted to vote ally, she could have just waited for the deadline to pass. She's got 7 BP, right? Yeah. Why are you asking, though? Her BP doesn't matter right now. Have you totally what? lost it? She doesn't have her bracelet on. And besides, she's a golem. She isn't trying to get out. Whether she has 9 BP or not doesn't mean anything to her. Then why is she doing this? Isn't that obvious? She wants to keep our BP below 9. Say she defaulted to ally. We could choose whatever we wanted, and we'd still get 9 BP. She's here to make sure that doesn't happen. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. And I... I trust him. Two, one. Round three. Of the I don't think they're the same distance. Has been completed. So we just need to know where the zero bomb is, which apparently we can only learn on this timeline. Results it's going to be will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex. Sigma, are you insane? Why the hell did you choose Ally? Wait, we can talk about that later. Right now. She's gone. Where'd she go? That's odd. We came out the moment the gates opened. There's no way she could have left already. Then... There it was. Thought so. She didn't pick it up. Without the bracelet, she couldn't have voted. Then... She let the system vote ally for her? Results from round three of the Avidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Right, the results. Yeah. Let's go have a look. Why am going to be? That was your really Dead, dead. Dead, dead. Ally. Ally. <coughs> dead, 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 dead. Nine, nine, nine. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Says so Luna didn't vote. She got set to ally automatically, and the other six got penalized. Here are some more AB game- oh yeah, this is the thing about everybody getting penalized. And again, five of them are already dead, 
We don't know where Quirk is, but this bracelet's already off. Yeah, that means all those penalties are meaningless. Why did Luna show up then? I mean, we've got our 9 BP now, but... Alright, what do you want to do, Sigma? Do you want to leave? What? You're kidding, right? Weren't you the one who kept going on about how Quark's still alive? I can't just run off and leave him here. You sure? Yeah. Well, that's a relief. I was hoping you'd say that. Now let's get moving. We need to find Quark. And Luna too, right? Luna. Hmm. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round four of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. Fi and I checked our bracelets out of sheer reflex. I was a magenta pair, just like before, but Fi had changed to a red solo. It didn't really matter though, both our bracelets showed the number 9. All we had to do was open the number 9 door and we'd never have to play another AB game again. Alright, Quark comes first. Let's go. She spun around and headed for the cyan door. I followed on her heels. Sigma, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? There are three doors here. You, Alice, and Luna went through the one on the right. That took you to the Golem Bay, correct? Yeah. According to the map, that's the door on the bottom. There's a lever on that thing in the middle, right? You pulled it, but it only opened one of the doors. What about mm. it? Take a look. See the lock? Open? Yeah. But who the hell opened it? And how? There's only one person who could have opened it. Luna. Alright. Let's head in. Okay. The heck are these things? I think they're treatment pods of some sort. What men pods? Even as I spoke, part of me knew what they were. I didn't know how or why, but I felt a strong sense of deja vu when I looked at them and suddenly realized I knew exactly how to operate the pods. It was a strange, unsettling feeling, as if somewhere deep inside was a version of myself that I didn't actually know. Hmm, one of them is lit up. The one on the left, is it being used? The glass is all fogged up. I can't really see inside. Let's crack it open. Yeah. Work. Our feet pounded across the floor of the warehouse. Quark's body bounced in my arms as I ran. His pulse and breathing were normal. He was limp and unconscious, but he was alive. The pod's display had given us a little information on his condition. As far as we could tell, he'd been given an anesthetic, which had put him to sleep. Ready? What's wrong? You're supposed to say, yeah, sure. Uh, 
Um, is it really okay for us to just leave? What the hell is this? You want to stay here? What if Luna kills you too? <laughs> Think what? about it. Alice, Clover, Tenmyoji, the old woman, even Dio and Kay. There's a good chance Luna killed all of them. But why? Why doesn't matter. Remember what we saw on Clover's thigh? <laughs> 016. And what's that the same number as? The last three digits of Luna's product ID. Where did we find the old woman's corpse? In the AB room that Luna came out of. And if you're right, her brain is in the central computer core. That means she could have easily moved that crane, right? She could have used it anytime she wanted. That means any alibi she might have for not being able to move the crane is worthless. Exactly. She must have moved the AB room. Alice noticed it right away. At the very least, that would mean Luna had a reason to try and kill Alice. <laughs> to keep her quiet. She could also have murdered Dio and Kay. Remember their star keys? Luna must have taken them. Which puts her in the room with Dio and Kay. You understand, don't you? I admit none of this evidence is conclusive. But look at our options. You, me, Quark, and Luna. Who do you think is the most likely to be the murderer? Think this through, Sigma. Luna's a golem. That means she's a robot that's part of this facility, designed to do God knows what. If what you said about golems and the central computer is true, she's basically a puppet of Zero Juniors. There isn't really much of an argument to be made here. The only option is to... To leave her here and get out. Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? A robot may not injure a human being or, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. Okay, you're right. Let's get out Damn. of here. Don't scare me like that. Okay, I'm going to open it. You ready? You don't have to ask me. Isn't that what you always say? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's time we got out of here. Let's go. With a heavy, labored groan, and the banana door began to open. As soon as the gap was wide enough to admit her body, I slipped through it. I followed her through, cork still cradled in my arms. Inside was a massive lift platform, like the kind used to move industrial cargo. I turned to face me, and I shoved cork in her arms. Huh? Before she could respond, I spun around and ran. Sorry, Fi. There's just there's something I have to do. Take care of. No, you don't mean you're going to go find Luna. God damn it, Sigma! Think about what you're doing, Sigma. Listen to me. You can't do this. The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation.